Heat waves, droughts and floods are hitting countries across Europe, in particular Italy, Spain and France, that have been hit hard this year and the European Commission says that it could be an even drier summer than previously. But climate change deniers are actively downplaying these extreme weather phenomena on social media and questioning the existence of global warming. So here in the Cube, we decided to analyze some of the most common misconceptions as well as misinformation around droughts in the region. The first misconception that's actually quite popular on Twitter is that there can't be a drought if there's been a recent episode of, for example, rain, snow, or even flooding. And this recently uh, happened in certain French regions. Multiple Twitter users, like for example this one, uh, said that it's raining everywhere all day, even in the south. It's snowing in the Alps and the Pyrenees. Despite a very rainy month of March and April, the media are daring to talk about droughts and global warming every day. And we spoke to Tom Phillips, a climate science educator, who explained to us why this reasoning is false. If you have all of your rain for the whole year on one day, you're going to get a flood. And then the rest of the year, no rain, you're going to get a drought later in the year. Also, when you do get a drought, that hardens the ground. And when the rain does fall, it just runs straight off um, and you lose it almost straight away. The second big disinformation narrative that we've seen on Twitter uh, is this one, that droughts, especially in Spain, are man-made because of the process of removing dams across the country. The CUBE had previously fact-checked this, and we actually found that many of these barriers were built decades ago and have either been abandoned or no longer served their purpose, for example, to supply water to cool a nuclear power plant. These demolitions are actually seen as a good move by environmental experts because they restore the river's natural flow, they improve water water quality and they also make the rivers rich in fish again. And finally, one common uh, conspiracy theory that we've seen come back quite a lot on Twitter is that droughts are caused by chemtrails from airplanes that dissolve clouds and prevent rain. And this is why it's false. When you see these kind of white plumes behind the plane, what you're looking at is what are called contrails or vapor trails. So when a, when a plane burns fuel, you get some water vapor coming out the back. And if you've got humid air and it's cold air, you get these kind of well, basically, they're forming clouds, um, and these are perfectly normal water clouds. They will impact temperatures um, slightly, um, but it's not any kind of significant effect, and it's not like you're getting more and more flights over areas that are getting droughts. For more fact checks and investigations, please make sure to check out our website, Euronews.com.